Hello everyone and welcome to the class of 5 Green, which stands for 5G Green Networks. So, 5G Green is basically a joint initiative of various partners for Matis project. It represents the various telecom vendor companies. We can have mobile operators and also leading telecom institution or academic institution. The major perspective of these is to focus on the energy efficiency of 5G mobile networks. To save the energy is a main goal for 5G networks. So we have to focus on energy efficiency of 5G networks. To save the energy, we can have various um, or major challenges in this network. Like what are the challenges? We can have data traffic volumes, number of connected devices, diverse requirement and energy consumption. If we can see the very first data traffic volumes, there are over 2, two billion mobile broadband subscribers worldwide and this number of subscribers keep on growing. So if we can see the growth or the graph of data traffic volume, it could be having a exponential growth. So from 2012 to 2018, we can see the ever increasing slope of this data traffic volume. And also if we can see the future mobile system, the future mobile st systems require more and more capacity. So from green design perspective, the deployment of 2G, 3G, 4G and also we can have the 5G technology. So 5G network deployed or dimension today is completely in terms of capacity because we are having number of devices, we can have number of traffic volumes. So mobile network should satisfy the increasing traffic demands and by flexible availability of capacity as well. So this could be the very first challenge. The next one as number of connected devices. The total number of connected devices in future will be 10 to 100 times higher than today. So we can have different kinds of machine like smart grid devices, sensors, we can have surveillance cameras, each and every device is connected to the network. We can refer as internet of thing or machine to machine communication. It means that everything can benefit from a wireless connection, which requires a higher signaling load or overhead. We can have diverse requirements. Like we can have some application which require low latency like critical communication, industrial applications. Some applications require high reliability. We have to specify the quality of service requirements. So we can have various diverse requirements and we have to fulfill each and every requirement. The next challenge is energy consumption. Energy consumption, we have to take care of the cost which is also an important issue. CAPEX and OPEX need to have a level where services can be provided at a reasonable level. So 5G Green will target energy consumption which is 10 times lower than that of today. So these are the four challenge, challenges which are required to be maintained for 5G Green project. Thank you so much.